What up guys, your favorite fellow earthling here, Austin Hires. Welcome back to my channel, Austin Hustler Hires. And today is day three, the grand opening of the Rage Room. Today is Saturday, and as you can see, the cards are not playing in my favor. It is currently thunder, lightning, and pouring ass rain outside right now. So woohoo! The good thing is the rain is supposed to let up by 12 p.m. today and uh, we got the rage room ready. We put some balloons up and uh, it looks good, it smells good. We have our scheduling ready, we have all our prices ready. Thanks, thanks Ember yeah. for throwing that balloon in my way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got everything ready guys and like I said, I did not expect this rainstorm to happen today. Uh, four days ago it said it was going to be a sunny day and then all of a sudden yesterday it said you know we're going to have 95% chance rain and here it is that 95% um, so yeah uh, we got our bounce house here guys but we're not going to set that up in the rain because that would be dangerous and we also had the food guy coming at 10 o'clock but I no longer think he I, I think he's no longer coming um, unless you know he comes around 12 o'clock but I'm pretty sure he cooks the food the night before um, as far as like the green beans and mac and cheese and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks. I really hope that this day turns out a little bit better as we move on and count the hours here. But that's how it's starting out so far guys. The cards are not in my favor this week, but that's okay. I'm staying positive. I'm keeping a uppity attitude. I'm keeping my head up. And uh, I hope you guys are out there keeping your fingers crossed for me, knocking on some wood, and telling everybody about us. I really appreciate it, and I'll update you here in just about an hour. Let's go. Currently 10.30, still zero people showed up on the grand opening day of the Rage Room. It is still raining very lightly. It's supposed to be the end of the thunderstorms for the day. So hopefully after the weather clears up here, we will have some more people coming in. Where is everybody at? I don't know. We invited over 500 people through Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I have no idea where anybody is at. Usually when you invite 100 people to a party, maybe 30 or 40 people show up. We invited 500 people to the party and uh, nobody's here yet. Maybe it's because of the rain. I am getting dealt some horrible cards here and my patience and my positivity is definitely being tested guys. But I am definitely keeping my head up like I said, doing my best to stay positive minded and doing my best to keep um, thinking of ways to spread awareness of the rage room that is opened up in Deland on the most busy road in Volusia County, Florida. If you guys are watching this video, please hit that like button for me. That's all I ask is that you hit the like button, subscribe, and maybe even share this video to more people so I can gain some traction on this YouTube channel. It seems that nothing is going my way, but when there is a down, there's always an up. Life is always about ebbs and flows and just pushing through the down times. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, guys. And I'm gonna show you that I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep pushing. This is day three. This is the day of the grand opening. And um, our barbecue guy probably won't show up till 12 o'clock because of the fact that it's raining outside and he doesn't wanna ruin his food, which I completely understand. This is all the carnage of our first Ragers. I'm super excited guys. We made $80 off of that first um, first pop there. We did two people, $30 a pop plus the $10 for the annual Rage Pass. And uh, they're going to tell more people about it. They're going to be regulars. And we had the person from the newspaper, from the um, Deland newspaper here. So they're actually going to put us in the newspaper. So hopefully that will get us more business. It's just going to take a little time to gain some traction with this, as I can see. But uh, we got a barbecue guy here. He just pulled up. We'll film that in a second. Let me go ahead and get cleaned up. And then we'll go outside and check out the barbecue. All right, guys. We've got our first set of ragers here. And uh, how did you like it? How was it? I loved it. It was great. A good way to unwind and bust up some stuff you don't have to clean up. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go in there and clean it up for them. They did a they did a 15 minute rage 
And uh, they were in there for what? Maybe maybe eight minutes or so? Yeah. Yeah. I wore out. Man. Yeah. He <laughs> smashed the stuff super quick. And uh, I'll show you a picture of everything that they smashed in there. Yeah. But great super place. excited. Our first Ragers. Thank you guys so much. Most fun. Thank you. Excellent. Appreciate family it. Family that smashes together stays together. That's right. Yeah. You guys come in, smash together, keep the family close. Amen. Great. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. So we, this is this is pretty cool, guys. I'm super excited, and uh, I, I know that we just have to spread the awareness about this place. But check it out. About to smash this picture right here. It looks like. I just handed them another five pieces of glass, guys, because I just really appreciate the first customers coming in here. So I figured I'd hook them up with a little more glass to break and, uh, you know, they can have a little more fun, little, let a little more stress out. So today has gone pretty good so far, guys. We still have several hours till closing time. We've got a bounce house outside and the barbecue guy outside still. So I'm super excited to uh, see what, what our turnout is tonight because I believe more people are going to come in. Um, in the later hours just because that seems like what people want to do. I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you updated throughout the day. Make sure to hit that like button if you're still watching this and also make sure you subscribe down below. What up guys? It is day three grand opening and let me just give you a little bit of rundown. It is uh... Mm. It is currently 7 o'clock, well it's 6.53 but I'm rounding up to 7 o'clock and today has been the best day so far. This is day three and today we did our grand opening which we had a bounce house and some barbecue up front uh, to try to bring more customers in. Also we had our signs and we were boosting ourselves on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. And just kind of letting everybody know this past week that we're grand open. Our grand opening is on Saturday, uh, so I can see why we had a okay turnout today. Um, I mean, a great turnout actually, because um, I believe we sold uh, 30, 40. Let's see, 40 dollars worth of items out of the shop today, and we had three different couples come in and rage out. One, two, yeah, three. And then we, so in each couple was, it was $30 a person plus each person had to pay for a $10 rage license, which is good for a year. 
and each time you come back with that rage license you don't have to watch the instructional video again unless we have renewed something and there's something in there they need to catch up on um, and they do not have to sign another waiver so as long as they signed a waiver to come in here the first time they never have to sign one again so that's that's how we're doing it so when you and when you come in with that rage pass each time you get five dollars off either something in the store or you can get five dollars off one of your rage times so say it's thirty dollars to come in here for fifteen minutes you can actually get in here for twenty five dollars now uh, just by coming here the first time and getting your rage license and then just being a return customer so um, it, it, it turned out pretty good having those six people come in today we made uh, I think over let's see I'm trying to do the math in my head 240 oh we had four different couples we had eight people come in today almost ten people but the the last um, people that came in they wore flip-flops which we don't want to let anybody rage with flip-flops so they're gonna come back another day with some closed toe shoes but yeah that would have made ten people in the rage room today so my mistake yeah we made over three hundred dollars today so yeah 160 plus 160 is um, uh, 320 dollars I should know that it's just been a long day so 320 dollars plus the 40 dollars we made in the rage room we made uh, 360 dollars today here at the rage room the third day which is uh, pretty good because if you take in consideration when when I started my junk removal company uh, it took me about two months before I got my first job and I made ninety five dollars on that first job so um you know I started junk removal like I said in the last video I started junk removal when it was still fresh when it was still kind of a new thing and uh, it wasn't very popular now that it's getting more popular, it's easier to start a junk removal business and then kind of, you know, start getting business right away, um, without without you know even advertising on Google. Whereas you know this is a brand new thing, the rage room. It's just starting to pop up, you know, throughout Florida, throughout the United States, in the last year or two, and um, we're going to see a lot more in the next couple of years. We're going to see a lot more of these rage rooms open up. And I can't wait for that, for people to come more aware and it just be one of those things like, you know, hey, let's go out bowling tonight. Let's go out and watch a movie tonight. Let's go out. They're, they're starting to do axe throwing everywhere. So let's go out and do axe, axe throwing. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, people do axe throwing or the, um, what are those those lock rooms, the, 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 the rooms where you have to kind of find your way out. I don't, I don't, can't think of the name right now. I'm drawing a blank, but yeah. Those um, are the types of things people are going out and, and they know of, they're, they're, they're made aware of. And once they're made aware of this type of business, the Rage Room, uh, we'll start seeing a lot more business in here. We'll start getting people in here on a regular. And I'm really, I'm really uh, excited to get there, but um, everybody has to start somewhere. And I think we're off to a great start. So that's a recap of the day, you know, how much money we made here on the third day. Uh, so including yesterday, we made $15 yesterday, we made uh, 375 and then before we even opened, we sold some furniture um, for a total of 150 So we really made, let's see, uh, 400 and, um, 400 and, uh, $500, $515. $515, I had to do all the math in my head <laughs> what we're, uh, what we made total since we've uh, started building this raid room and we need a total of $1,500 or um, for, for just the rent, $1,500 for just the rent but then we have electricity and the internet that we pay for which is $100 and $100. So we really need around $1,700 to pay the rent for the month. And we have another um, uh, 13 days or so to go here. And so I'm pretty excited to see what happens in the next 13 days to kind of see the progression of the place. We're going to be working out kinks, maybe changing our opening time and our closing times around a little bit. And uh, just figuring out as I go. I really don't know everything about this business, guys. So I'm just kind of filming every single day and informing you every day how it's going. And uh, I, I'm just been I've been excited and uh, and just feel I feel blessed, you know, to 
to be able to do this. You know, a lot of people out there can't even save up $500 and uh, you know, we've been able to save up money and, and create several businesses that are running on, the, on their own, pretty much on their own right now. And here we are starting another business and we're running it while our other businesses are making us money. And um, it, it's pretty amazing. So that bounce house you guys saw here today, that was actually my bounce house that I own because I used to own a bounce house business. And um, I stopped doing that because it was just really too much, really uh, too intensive, too much for me at the time. At the time, I was just way overwhelmed with the junk removal business, and I was still working every day in the junk removal industry. So it was just a lot, and I had to stop doing that. But I own this bounce house. Actually, you could probably see it in the picture. Yeah. So this, this big blue bounce house you see over here. Um, I own that and I own another five bounce houses that are actually being sold for $4,000. We're just waiting on the lady that's buying them to get her taxes back. So uh, we're, we're kind of banking on her getting her taxes back to, to sell them. But we took it off the market for her and everything. So hopefully she actually comes through on that deal. Um, that is the summary of day three right there. So. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, and if you made it here, make sure you hit that like button for me. Leave a comment down below, any questions you have, or just say, awesome job, Austin, um, and Kelsey, and Osiris, and Ember, and, Os and, and Magnus, because, you know, my kids, my family, they're here. They're here helping me. Uh, and those of you that are thinking, you know, why are your kids at the Rage Room with you every day? We actually homeschool our kids, and um, yes, they do schooling here. We have a little area in the back. Um, and, and you know they have their school books they 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 color they play games and they do lots of stuff here not only strictly we're not a very strict school but we teach them the essentials uh, and our kids are very very smart so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because a lot of people I know when when there's kids involved in things and they're not in school a lot of people start asking questions and I know some of you don't care and, and wouldn't ask that question but for those of you that would there's your answer we do homeschool them and uh, we're, we're still homeschooling them while we are here working. That's just another thing on our plate. So very cool. I'm, I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited too to kind of see this thing progress. I love you all. Don't forget to share this video with anybody that might be interested or anybody just sitting on their couch that watches videos all day long. Please just share it with them. Ask them to subscribe because I really want to try to boost this channel this year. I want to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's my goal. God willing, it'll happen, but um, we'll see. You guys have a good rest of the day. I'm out of here.